Okay, now we have the brand sudo app update to make sure that uh, we have the most up to date. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Elastistack. So it's going to be sudo app install, sudo app install, Elastic Search is what we're installing. Go ahead, hit enter. It's going to go out there and get Elastic Search, uh, download all the packages, uh, the application that we need. Be back when it's done. Okay, so now it's uh, installed. We need, before we start up or like open and start up the application, we actually need to do some configuration in the file. And in that configuration will be sudo vim as an editor, text editor. Uh, it's going to be in the Etsy, elastic search, and then elastic, elastic search. See here, elastic search dot yml. It's the YAML file. So this is the configuration file that we need to actually update. And uh, make some changes. And where we're going to do some changes in here is scroll down. So right here in the network section right here, uh, by default access tax uh, is only accessible from local hosts. So our local system. So we need to change that. So we're gonna hit I to start do some editing. We're gonna erase this hash time, hashtag because that allows uh, it to be a comment. So we wanna comment out. So this is what we wanted to read. And what we want to change the IP address to, this is just a default that everyone has. We want to change this to local hosts. And then we also want to go down to this HTT port. And by default, it's port 9200. 90, so in this configuration, we allow our system to connect to it uh, on our local host, it's just like a, a application that's running on this VM. If we type local host or IP address uh, 127.0.0.01, uh, uh, we can come to this location, but we need a specific port, which is 9200. Once we got that configured there, we can uh, hit escape colon. We're going to write it with W, and then we're going to quit. So that configuration has been updated to that file. Okay, so once we get that all done, what we're gonna do is clear the screen here. Uh, we're gonna start the elastic search. So we're gonna do sudo sys systemctl enable, and we will enable elastic search dot service, or you can do it without the service here, either way it works. And right now it's enabling, so it's, it's gonna be starting. Okay, so then the next step will be to start it. So we're gonna do sudo system start elastic search. And it started because there's no error uh, that's showing the background. But instead of like going to the web browser and checking to make sure that it's there, we can we can just uh, do a curl command, and we're gonna do X, uh, dash x option to get our local host at port ninety two hundred because that was in the configuration. And it's going to go out there and to the website or our local host and get those information. And it's going to tell if it's running or not. 
If it wasn't running, you will not have any data that will populate. But in this case, we started up and we're able to uh, get some data back. So then that means that, hey, Elastic is running on your local host or on this virtual machine. And it's very important that we follow this first step, uh, step to install Elasticsearch. And moving on to the second step where now we can download Cabana, which is the visualization that can be installed on it as a second app inside Elasticsearch. So if you don't get this first part correct, this second part will not work. So now we're going to do sudo app install Cabana. It's going to go out there and install Cabana into the system of Elasticsearch. So think about like your phone, it's our uh, old, uh, operating system. You're going down to the app store and choose some apps. This is the same kind of thing where Elasticsearch is the uh, Elastic Search is your phone and Cabana is the application within it. Okay, so, so now, So now, uh, log back in. Okay, so now we are in the Cabana uh, configuration. And if, if you missed out where we at in the configuration, we ran sudo van Cabana and then Cabana dot. YML, and in here, we're going to hit I to start the insert. We're going to erase, uncomment this one here, so it will be listening on port uh, 5601. And also, we're going to erase this comment, uncomment this one on server host, so it can be listening on a local host. And also, this comment right here, where it says elasticsearch.host, uh, It'll be looking for Elasticsearch on the local host on port 5601 to look at Cabana. So once we get that configuration uncommented out, we're going to hit escape colon right quit to save the file. And once we got that, once we have that done there, uh, we can now do sudo system ctl enable cabana services and what that says is hey when we open this virtual machine this is going to be automatically run in the background so it created a symlink which is a shortcut to to open this file and start the service and then the next one we're going to do is we're going to do system start cabana service so now cabana uh, elast um oh, elastic is stat is running cabana is running and and we can uh just check the service while going to the web browser and we could run that stat uh the dash option of p l u n t uh, in this case, we don't have netstat, so we have to install it. So we're going to do sudo app install netstat. It's going to, if I can spell that right, stat. At Actually, uh, it's going to be net-tools is the package that we need. So now we got that. So now we're going to run netstat, the option of P-L-U-N-T. And you can see here on the loopback or the local host, which is 127.0.0.1, 5600, which is uh, Cabana. And we have 9200 here, which is the elastic. So those two ports are 
in the state of listening. So it should work now. It will open a web browser. Okay, so now we can open a web browser. And we're going to go check, see if last stack is working and local post 9200. And that was that right there. Okay, this is a continuation of um, the elk stack. So <clears throat> just going to clear the screen. We can close down the web browser and so in this case uh, uh, we can send the log file from different virtual machines into uh, elastic search but then to have more features to edit the logs we're going to install log stash so in this case we're going to do sudo app install log stash and install log stash and it's going out there um, based on the configuration we did to get the updates for Elasticsearch it's going to follow through there download the log stash uh, application and install it in Okay, so Logstash has been installed as an application to it. Uh, we want to also uh, make configuration for the next application, which is file B that we will install. So we need to create a file uh, for file beats. So we're gonna do sudo vim, we're gonna go to the Etsy, the log, log stash config dot d and we're gonna call it o2 dash meets input dot config con f so you can name that whatever uh, you can name that Beats dot input. Um, in this case, I'm gonna name it O um, zero one input config. And inside this configuration file, we're going to input input curly bracket. beats space curly bracket one two three five four we equals Close that one, and yeah, we're also going to close that one. Okay, so once we have log stash install, we're going to, need to create a folder in the log stash. So we're going to clear this out, we're going to go into CD. Uh, the Etsy log stash, if we hit list, these are the file in there. We're going to create a new directory in there or a new folder by doing mkdir and we're going to call it SSH, uh, SSL. So we need to add sudo in front of it and then we list it again and there you go. There's a directory called SSL and we're gonna 
change into or go into the SSL and there's nothing in the SSL. Uh, in this case, we're going to generate uh, SSL certification. Self-sign means that we create the certification to allow this specific computer to use only. Um, so to do that, we're going to use this code right here, which is the open SSL tool is going to require with the option of X59 and the nodes for any of the nodes has 365 days is going to generate a new key, uh, using the RSA encryption, uh, 2048 and it's going to output the log stash key and it's also going to output a log stash certification. Go ahead, enter. And it's going to need sudo command to it to allow permission to do all this. So I'm going to go put sudo in front of open SSL. And there's going to be some information you need to put into here. So the country name would be Tupo. Uh, you can do US if you want. We can leave the state empty. We can leave the city empty. Uh, this was called leave the organization name empty. We can leave the union name empty, uh, the fully qualified domain name. We can leave empty email address and all empty. So we do, since we're still in the SSL directory, let's just look at the list. Create these, these two, one's a cert and one's a log stash. So let's just cat the log stash cert and that's the uh, encrypted uh, certi certification. And let's just look at the other one for the key. So we need to use sudo command and there you go. And that's a key for the, the lost dash key and the certification. And to look at some of the permission, I'm going to do ls.a, la. As you can see, it's owned by root, which is the administration use, administrator user here. We want to make sure that it is owned or at least logs that is, is owned by the user. So we're going to sudo change mod or modify the modify to log stash and we want to modify the user for so the first one is user and the second one is the group log stash and what we want to allow to change the permission is the two file so we do log stash search and also log stash key. So there is, so there was an invalid. And it did not work because I spilt it wrong. So It's actually to own. So we're changing the ownership to log stash and log stash for these two files. And then we do ls a again. And now before it was root, now it is owned by log stash that the user. So it can utilize the certification, the key. Okay, now we're going to CD back one 
file one folder and we're going to cd into config.d and there's nothing in there and we're going to do a test configuration file here uh we're just going to do a test one we're going to call it and since we're in this folder we're going to them uh, we'll call this basic.config conf and inside here we are going to input a few things and this is the input we're going to do it's going to be input beats uh, port of 5443 um, that's the input side name uh, the output will be going to Elasticsearch. Elastic uh, the SSL is going to be true. Uh, SSL certification will be false. And it'll be put into. She will be put not to local host. Actually, yes, we could do local host because this is the uh, Elasticsearch. We're going to hit escape. Colon. Right quit. Or we're just gonna right quit with exclamation point. We're gonna, I'm gonna copy this because this scene. I didn't use the sudo command, which you got to use the sudo command if you are in this setting. And I'm going to paste that in. And then we'll right quit. Hit ls. The base config is there. We have the base config. That's everything that we just input it in.